What do you think of uh, <clears throat> reading some of them? It became obvious. Right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <clears throat> Thomas Taylor thinks you can reconstruct the whole Platonic vision based upon the oracles. <clears throat> and of course, the child demon plays a major role. <clears throat> Curious? <clears throat> so, how shall we proceed? I suggest that we build. And uh, you might start on a uh, <clears throat> kind of a simplistic step. Pick those which are clearest, and then we go out building from them the more complex, right? So you have the material. <sighs> All I have to do is put it on the board. See how easy it is? No. So, who shall go first? Said to start with the simplest and build out from there? Yeah. So, what are we building? Do you have the oracles in front of you? Uh huh. Hmm. I have a couple. Got a couple that you think are fill this demand? Let's try it. Mm. Right? Okay, that was a good one. All right. Uh, Get a couple of names. What? Are there any extra copies of the material? I, well, I, I didn't bring any. Um, you have an Thomas Taylor, don't you? Yes, I do. No. But I was asking. Here's an extra copy. Are you sure? Yeah, uh, yeah make them work. <laughs> yeah, make them yeah. work. <laughs> Look, would you take. <clears throat> yeah, let me get a simple one, okay? Oh, good, right, right, okay. Would you accept this one as a way of going? Gods exhort us to understand the radiating form of light. That's a nice one. Oh, look here. See, you have two ideas. One relationship between the two is the gods exhort us to understand, right? So we have an activity. Right? God's got us to understand the life, so we can build from it. Um, so just get a whole bunch, just get to see. They link together, they link together so that you might then have something like this. Let each one of these represent an idea, and then we can tie others with it, and then you can then, a larger idea with more quotes, right? and so we can have a cons construction. Right? So then we can then sit back and look at our artwork, sightings that we've made. So here, the bigger one, of course, is going to be God's, isn't it? So 159. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> no, I just pulled this at random, by the way. Uh, random means I just <laughs> opened up the page and want this is the page 32 that I turned to. So. If you'd accept that, is there anything more on that page you think that might be akin to it that we can now build? How about 162? One sixty-three. Would that fit? <clears throat> Learn the intelligible for it subsists <clears throat> beyond the mind. <clears throat> right. ah. Another major idea, mind. Right. 160, 162, the role of learning. <laughs> I, now we've got something interesting. Uh, whatever the mind is, there's something higher, which is what? Intelligible. Intelligible. Oh. 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 There is a certain intelligible one whom it becometh you to understand with the flower of the mind. Ah, ah. Huh? Tell them now it's called one. Huh? There's a certain intelligible one whom it becometh you to understand, all right? Hey, wow, understand with the flower sometimes called the hyparxis, right? The flower of the mind, the hyparxis of the mind. So, come on, let's build, come on, let's build, see, you're mapping. You want to connect all the ideas, you can. Some will fit, some won't. If they don't, you know what we're going to do? Don't we'll call on Brad. <laughs> won't we? Isn't that fair? Of course. Yeah. How about the intelligible is food to that which understands? Okay. What number? Uh, the, I'm in Taylor, so he doesn't have numbers in here. Then, okay. Uh, the bottom of 24 in Taylor. 24? In Taylor, yeah, page Hold it, let me see if they're matched. <clears throat> what's, his, what's his page one? You know, Bradley, is, is it from page one, two, three? You know what I mean? So I can get a sense of how the pages are going to map. Um, yeah, starting with the good one in good. Taylor. Mm -hmm. uh, this is 24. Or no, it's seven, I'm sorry. It starts with seven and goes to the where? 24. This is like... That's the last page? Um, no. I don't know. 57 is the last page. Okay. Does he break it up into yeah, uh, this, topics? So this is uh, concerning the intelligible in general? That's the mm. first one under that one? What number? Mm. He doesn't have the number. our number, it says 71. And I didn't bring my Thomas Taylor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bring it up with her. <coughs> it's the, Share it. Go ahead. The intelligible. Ah. So you, go ahead. Is food to that which understands. Ah. You can see how my, how often the idea of belief is playing a role in their system. <laughs> Okay. 
So come on, let's go. Come on. Got one? I have one. Um, it adds, these profound love must be our guide to the beatific vision of the intelligence. Yeah, and I like that. Can I see it? Since I didn't hear the last word you mentioned, I heard everything else. Profound love. Profound love. <clears throat> Profound love must be our guide to the beatific vision of the intelligible world. So you know what we'll do? Um, we'll add it. I'm, and... Uh, to reach that, what do you need? Oh. Right out of the, could be right out of the symposium, couldn't it? Um, I have one. There's a a certain and hold it for one. And Plato informs us that a better guide than this cannot be found. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You got something? There's a certain intelligible which it behooves thee to comprehend with the flower of thy mind. No, I think I got that one. Oh, is that no, right? no, okay? No, no. Didn't get different translation. But come on, build. Come on, work. It's not work. Get him to work, will you? <laughs> Go, man. Go. Well, he relates Go. fire. That's it. That's it. We can go there. He relates fire to the... Uh, Which one? Uh, I have either Hellas or Plethos, 24 or 30. Okay. He relates fire and a second mind, which is who we are. All things have issued from that one fire. The Father perfected all things and delivered them over to the second mind whom all nations of men call the first. Hmm. So therefore, hey. So, look, light, fire. From that quote, what role would you say fire is playing? Source. It's a source, yeah. Right, source. It's a radiant, yeah, it's a radiant source. You cannot, cannot do anything except be. See, after you map everything out, then you can just sit back and you can then write an essay, jumping from tying them together in a variety of ways. You have all the material sketched out like a painting, yeah. like a mural. And uh, uh, I just jumped to page 35, 182. These are the mysteries which I evolved in the profound abyss of the mind. Um, take a number, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Number nine is divine, receives its completion from three triads and attains the summits of theology. According to the Chaldaic philosophy, as Porphyry informs us, Right. Right. Nine, three triads, that's right. Right. So if you want now, here we have a philosophical term. Nine, three triads connect. Right. Easy enough to check. Right. Look. Um, let's go. First, get calm. Go for the simple ones that you can easily connect. Do it all, see? Then add by connecting these that you've already found a place for with the others, with certain hypothetical 
or question marks or things to look up to complete them. Um, I'm on 42. How about 42? All things subsist together in the intelligible world. Subsist, subsist, right? Intellect existeth not without the intelligible. Mm -hmm. Apart from it, of course, it has no subsistence. Therefore, hey, intellect and intelligible are linked. And for every quote, by the way, if you were to put alongside of it the number, then you can then go back and feet note it, because if you use more than two footnotes, you have to use the word feet. I got that from Barbara. Feet note. True. It is. Is that true? Oh, yes. Every intellect. Every intellect. Every intellect. Every intellect. Every intellect understands None. deity. Good. Every intellect understands deity. Deity. Every intellect. Even, see, that goes so far to include even people from Brooklyn. <laughs> right, do it again, please. Come on. Every, Every intellect, intellect understands deity. See, it may be interesting. See, what we could do is when you see you have more than one, one, two, three references, you can pull it out and make it understanding and connect all of those quotes dealing with understanding. You build. <clears throat> In, you know, see, the four, 43 is very much going in the same direction. But all intellect understandeth the deity, for intellect exists not without the intelligible, neither apart from intellect doth the intellect subsist. Right. Hey, see the word subsist? Very major, major idea. This word, very major, see? Repeated several times. So you note it, and you're going to say, what is this rather curious word? We don't often use it, right? So, ah, huh, maybe I should. Under what circumstance? Well, let's see how he uses it. Should we then make another linkage? By intellect, he containeth the intelligibles and introduce soul into the world. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So he's got now intellect containing the intelligible. And as a consequence, you could say, introduce soul into the world. So therefore, uh, we have a new idea, right? The role of soul. So we put that over here. And I'll put the numbers from now on so you can quickly go back. Look at the idea of section. 48, 49, look, see? This order is the beginning of all section. The intelligible is the principle of all section. The intelligible is, is as food to that which understandeth. Ooh. Ooh. You can be nourished by it then, right? Aha! The oracle calls the intelligible causes swift and asserts that proceeding from the father they rush again unto him. Swift. Any of you recall the uh, etymology of theos? Theos? Swift. Right. Like Etymology for God is sacrifice. It goes to Old English and Anglo-Saxon languages. So here they link it, see? Oracle calls the intelligible causes swift. And asserts that proceeding from the Father, <clears throat> they rush again unto him. Those natures are both intellectual and intelligible, which themselves possess intellection. They're the objects of intelligence to others. Have a series of singularities all around this particular idea of the, intel uh, the intelligible, yeah. and yet they persistently repeat the triad, the monad, duad, triad. Mm -hmm. Where do we put that in this particular situation? Mm -hmm. Where does uh, it fall? Because this is just see, stuff. See, the, the point you're raising, you know, we should have a piece of chalk at every table. And if you come up with one, take the chalk and put it up. Why is that important? What's the first rule, right? The first law in the Noetic society when we first started. And remember what that was? Always do the work for Pierre. <laughs> as, as much as possible. Yeah. Is that a good one? For Pierre, yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> <clears throat> so, if, come on, if you have a couple, come on up and let's do it. Good, we already have a volunteer you got up for it. Go ahead. I was just getting a book. <laughs> got a couple? Come on. Eighty. 
How about 80? The fraternal mind hath sowed symbols in the soul. Oh. Archetypes come out of the fraternal mind. Oh. It's a new idea. It's a new idea. <laughs> Do you want to read it? No, okay. As every deity is a self-perfect unity, all things must be as much as possible united. For a union must necessarily be the offspring of unity. Ah. Uh -huh. Right out of the elements of theology, too. Every deity is a self-perfect unity. All things must be as much as possible united. For union must necessarily be the offspring of unity. Right? So he's connecting a whole series of ideas. See? And, and we, we are going to need them in a hierarchy. From, right? One. Union. Unity. Whole. Wholeness, perfect, communion. Right. We a whole bunch of them. We want to see how they're interrelated and under what condition you move from one to the other. So you look for folks that'll help you out. Couldn't be easier, could it? No, that's why we're doing it. Don't want to do anything difficult. <coughs> It's Otherwise, we'd have to get right Igmar to help. He did. He wrote a book. Yeah. <laughs> now, <clears throat> they have a test here for whether or not you understand. So, anyone want to take it? Please raise your hand. Good, thank you. 168. You who understand know the super mundane paternal depth. Okay, talk about it. That ought to be easy, if you understand it. So it's a test. Well, we can string it together. Explore the river of the soul, whence and in what order you have come, so that although you become a servant to the body, you may again rise to the order from which you descended, joining the works to sacred reason. Right? Joining works to sacred reason. Right? Another term, right, 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 right. For sacred reason. Ah, interesting notion. Yeah. So I'm just flipping. Come on, you guys can do it too. Um, how about concerning the light? Um, in this life, the things about figures become, become figures. Could you do it louder for me, please? Uh -huh. Which uh, number? Do you have a number or not? I have a page number. Okay. Uh, what page for those of you who have Thomas Taylor? Is that Thomas? Uh -huh. uh, 38 at the top of the page. Okay, everyone there who's got a Thomas? Um, it says, in this light, things about figures become figures. Yeah. Come on, good.
when thou shalt behold that holy and formless fire shining flashingly through the depths of the universe, hear you the voice of the fire. Oh, hey, wake up, boy, you got a voice. Wow, really? Yeah, ooh, ooh, interesting. What? A firelight flashing throughout the depths of the universe. Hey, listen to it. Oh, good. It's got a logo, son. It's got a voice. This, this one sounds very much like Heraclitus, doesn't it? We should flee according to the oracle, the multitude of men going in a herd. 179. Zodiac. <laughs> it's the Zodiac, right? 180. Who knoweth himself, knoweth all things in himself. Interesting use of in, isn't it? Hmm. Let the immortal depth of your soul lead you, but earnestly raise your eyes upwards. If you grasp the ineffable with the mind and understand how it applies to everywhere and everything, you will walk in the glory of light. That's a good one. That's the one that Barbara translated. Yeah, which number is that one? What? Which number is that one? What number? Yeah. It doesn't have a number. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> wow. That's one they forgot the number. That number is PG? What? PG, by the way? No, no, it's, it's there somewhere. It just hasn't been translated. I have one. Um, Glitters with intellectual sections, but he has filled all things with love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you make of the fact that you, two out of three of your choices has to do with love? <laughs> it's probably a strange notion to you. No? It's not strange. It's cute. Yeah. It's not a very common word. Uh, what does it mean when you spell it backwards? E B O L, evil. Evil. <laughs> yeah. The evil. First part of evil. <laughs> the first part of evolution. Yeah, yeah. Can you do? The, can you? Can you yeah, read it backwards? Uh, how about Mississippi? How about Czechoslovakia? Do that one backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're always serious around here. Okay. Not knowing that every god is good. You are fruitlessly vigilant. Well, I have one on page 26. Well, I don't know if it's your 26. Yeah, go ahead. It's from an, anyway, it is not proper to understand the intelligible with vehemence but with the extended flame of an extended intellect, hmm. a flame which measures all things except the intelligible. But it is requisite to understand this, for if you incline your mind, you will understand it, though not vehemently. It hmm. becomes you, therefore, bringing with you the pure convertible eye of your soul to extend the void intellect to the intelligible, that you may learn its nature because it has a subsistence above intellect. See, that's, that's loaded, isn't it? See, that's worth unpacking. So, um, identify it? Well, it's from the uh, Thomas Taylor um, translation, and it's, the, it's, on, it's in the computerized version of it. So it's on the computerized version, it's on page, bottom of page 26. A page, is that a page? But, yeah. Is it on, well, it's the Taylor, but it's not the hard time. Okay. What's the page reference? Do you have it? Taylor. Do you have it up there? Yeah. Yeah, let me take a look. Okay. I should have brought my chart. Uh, hmm. 
Is it number 166? Cool. It's on page 25. Is that right? Page 25? Uh, yeah. It's also 166 in your text here. Oh, that's page good. Cool. We can compare the two. Oh, Eli. good. Here it is. <coughs> Slightly different. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, again, uh, It is not proper to be un right. It is not proper to understand that intelligible one with vehemence, but with the extended flame of far-reaching mind, measuring all things except that intelligible. But it's requisite to understand this. For if thou inclinest thy mind, <clears throat> thou wilt understand it. Not earnestly, but it is, be it is becoming to bring with thee a pure and inquiring sense. <clears throat> to extend the void mind of thy soul to the intelligible. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that you may learn the intelligible, because it subsists beyond mind. Very powerful quote. So it's proper to understand the intelligible one with the extended flame of far-reaching mind. We measure all things. But to understand this, you better incline your mind. If so, you'll understand it by bringing with you a pure inquiring sense to extend the void mind of thy soul to the intelligible. It's a yoga, right? It's a yana yoga. So that may one, right? So they may learn the intelligible, right? Because it subsists beyond the mind. Even though it subsists beyond the mind, by grasping the intelligence, therefore you encounter with that which is beyond mind. That's right. Right. So this quote kind of pulls together many of the other ones. So this would be a central one, and then you can just plug in the little ones to fill up small spaces. One half, I take half, you take half. This, um, there's a quote above it that says, you will not apprehend it. That it and this follows the quote the Bradley Bible. The intelligible is food to that, excuse me, to that which understands. And underneath it, it says, you will not apprehend it by an intellectual energy as when understanding some particular Number. thing. Oh, uh, I'm I think it's 167. Yeah. 23? It out, yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's 20. It's the same following. It's the fall, uh, it's preceding. The preceding. Yeah. It's, uh, it's after the one that I just did yesterday. It's preceding it in mind. So, yeah. It's on the following page in the. In the
Okay. See, so look here. When you feel like that, it's a feeling, or have a sense that you have sufficient material as a, a basis, we're looking for those that easily fit. Then you keep your mind on two other categories, right? Uh, Those that are promising, but they have something, some term, idea that is, that is not clear to you, right? And you want to get those that, that appear to you Uh, very profound but use terms you need to look up but can connect all the others in that idea and the way in which we've described. So, so you go for the simple, right? then you expand it a bit, then you go for the ones which are most profound. <coughs> and last of all, you pick those which you think are obscure to you and you're stuck. Well, these are the ones you want to then consider whether or not they promise something, but they're very obscure to you. Then call up one of your friends who's working on the same material and say, hey, got any idea? Where does it go? Any terms we need to look up? So this is a search item. All right, so you build it. Right. So, um, Like take 141, you might want to know, and above the shoulders of that great goddess is nature and her vastness exalted. Oh, not sure who the great goddess is, could be a number. Well, I'll just put that promising. Uh, We'll look for other references to the great goddess, and when it clicks, then I then just add it into my known and proceed. Um, One forty four. Now look here. Magical and philosophical precepts. A nice long one, 144. Direct not thy mind to the vast surfaces of the earth, for the plant of truth grows not upon the ground or measure the motions of the sun, collecting rules. For he is carried by the eternal will of the Father, and not for the sake alone, not for your sake alone. Dismiss from your mind, then, the impetuous course of the moon, for she moveth always by the power of necessity. Hey, the progression of stars was not generated for your sake, Look at the way he describes it. His conclusion, flee from these if you would enter the this, this sacred paradise of piety where excellence, wisdom, and equity are 
assembled. All right, so we can read. Got one? Uh, I'm a little behind everyone. So this one was probably the first one we brought up, but uh, it kind of brings dreams into your little picture there. Uh, 165. Yeah. Yeah, up? good. Hold to it. 165. Unto some he gives the ability to receive the knowledge of light, and others, even when asleep, he makes fruitful from his own strength. Well, rather. Important, isn't it? That's a good one, isn't it? Right. To some, he gives the ability to receive the knowledge of light. And others, even when asleep, he makes fruitful from his own strength. Thomas Taylor's commentary is that, I assume anyway, it's, his translation is, to, the, to these he gives the ability of receiving the knowledge of light, which may be taught, but to others when asleep, he extended the fruit of his strength. Mm -hmm. And the comment is, that is, some men acquire divine knowledge through communicating with divinity in sleep. Well, <clears throat> so look, pause for a moment. You consider with the work we've done, do you find any similarity with Plato? A lot, yeah. Right, right, right. right. <clears throat> Proclus as well. Plotinus. Mm -hmm. so. oh. And uh, <clears throat> no. oh. So like these were going on and these people in society could pick them up as it was right as the oracles unfolded their messages. Mm -hmm. Not a bad thing to. St Why don't you start an oracle in LA? Yeah. No, I was thinking about that. Good. I was, not yeah, not actually, but I, I was just. No, no, no. Yeah. I was thinking about how modern the closest thing moderns have to oracles is uh, the oracular aphorisms of Nietzsche, and if you tried to map that out, it would uh, mm -hmm. it just wouldn't really work. It would just be a. It would all just be sort of a bunch of aphorisms along the bottom of the board. They wouldn't really have a, oh. a philosophy out of it. Now, this has a very lofty philosophical vision, doesn't it? Theological. Um, therefore, one sixty, it be becometh you to hasten into the light and to the rays of the Father, from whom was sent unto you a soul, endowed with much mind, noose. Hmm. What are the odds of, hey, I know what we need. I, let's put an ad in the penny saver. Uh, Need money. <laughs> we want to start the oracle all over again, right? So we'll get enough money to buy a Greek island from one of these unused, right? And put an oracle in its place, and we're in. How about it? Then we can sell the stones on, the, on that island as tokens, so people can. No, okay, I forgot. <laughs> But uh, these are very fine statements for an oracle. Oh. Um. Let 
Let fiery hope nourish you upon the angelic plan. From Alcibiades. Uh, <laughs> Got one? Got a couple? There is a venerable name with a sleepless revolution leaping into the worlds through the rapid reproofs of the Father. Oh, we can use it. Oh. Okay, want to shift gears then? Let's pick a couple that, are, as far as you can, you're concerned, are obscure, too difficult to understand. Right, then we put them in our last category. Let's see the terms that make it difficult to grasp it. And then we'll find, we'll talk about how you might be able to research to get a key into what's going on behind the particular ones that are difficult or obscure. Right, go to the two extremes. I don't understand that one. I don't understand the one I just read, but I, it's very intriguing to me, though. You don't understand any part of it? Um. Good. Well, I, no, I mean, I understand See. parts of it. But then we would like to know the parts that we do not, and identify those, and those become objects of research. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I find 187 to have several uh, things. Maybe somebody else knows more. Uh, in the left side of Hecate is a fountain, O Virtue, which renlaineth entirely within her, not sending forth its virginity. That one, to me, sounds. BS. <laughs> Isn't that a good one? 187. I don't get it. One. Yeah. If, so we, hey, we don't dodge them, we list them. So. And then there are a couple of words there we'd have to look up to make sure. Sure. Even in hell, there's a font of wisdom. So, see, we need to become more familiar with this, and then we can go into Damascus's work on the oracles. And then we can play it. See, it gives us a background. Again, please. Sure. Um, I, I was just thinking some of the question was the translation. And so I, I found the, the other translation of Thomas Taylor. In the left hand inward parts of Hecate is the fountain of virtue which wholly abides within and does not emit its virginal nature. It's a pure right. vocabulary yeah. problem. Yeah. Still some. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eagerly urging itself 
towards that center of resounding light. Hmm. Oh. Pass that, you know, that would be good to have on a uh, coffee cup, wouldn't it? I mean, sold at Starbucks. Find a coffee cup with that on it. Ten cents extra number ten. Yeah. <laughs> It says in her right hand she contains the fountain of souls, in her left the fountain of virtue. But yeah, in India. Sorry, I'm just fine. It's kind of very fascinating here. So I was wandering back and forth. I'm doing a search in the, this document for different terms, mm -hmm. trying to find, then I can find sometimes parallel passages. Yes. So, um, Well, looks like we ran out of gas. Okay, is that it? Okay, okay. Now, everybody knows where to get a copy of those, download it. I believe they, all of the emails went on. So why don't we give it one more time, and also we'll bring in a couple of pages of the Damascus on the Chaldean oracles, and have a little more fun. But look, it takes your work now. One, two, three, right, right, do it, right, put it together. Not the only, only 170 quotes, read it through, pick up your terms, connect them. Then you can sit back and you can talk about it, you can write about it if you want. See their inner connection. <coughs> okay then, see you next week.